NTPC is actively engaged with various technological developmental initiatives related to climate change, new and renewable energy, and waste management. Managing the ubiquitous issue of waste management and efficient management of landfill sites requires a sustainable and holistic approach. NTPC is engaged in different ways to handle this challenge sustainably. Under the focus of waste to associated products such as ethanol, Netra set up an R&D demonstration plant of MSW, Municipal Solid Waste, RDF, Refused Derived Fuel, based gasification plant having net power output of 400 kWe into 24 hours at its Netra campus in Greater Noida. The gasification plant would form the basis of ethanol production from syn gas produced in the MSW RDF gasifier. The process of gasification of MSW RDF is divided into six different sections. 1. Preparatory 2. Gasification 3. Gas cleaning 4. Engine 5. Utility and 6. Auxiliary Loose RDF size of around 200 to 250 mm comes into the preparatory section and is shredded, bricketed and stored in bricket form. The RDF gasifier has a capacity of 15 TPD as per bricket feed rate. In the gasification section, air and steam mixture passes through the fuel bed in the gasifier from the bottom and the producer gas comes out from the top. Four distinct processes occur in a gasifier as the fuel makes its way to gasification. 1. Combustion 2. Reduction or gasification 3. Pyrolysis and 4. Drying Producer gas coming out from the gasifier will carry fuel dust particles. These dust particles are separated in a cyclone separator and gas is sent to the cleaning section for tar removal. Water vapor, tar and phenolic compounds are generated in the gasification process and separated in the gas cleaning section. The producer gas is passed through different cleaning and cooling sections before collecting into the gas holder. Ethanol from MSW RDF Syngas the syngas is produced by gasification of MSW RDF, refused derived fuel. Since syngas is rich in CO percentage, carbon monoxide concentration, it can be used directly for ethanol synthesis. Ethanol synthesis The ethanol production process is broadly divided into three sections. 1. Pre-synthesis The syngas from gasifier enters into the CO2 capture unit, which will increase the CO concentration by CO2 removal through PSA absorption method. The syngas from PSA unit will be directly fed into bioreactor. Cell mass activation One tapping from output of PSA shall be passed through inline CO membrane, which will increase the concentration of CO by filtering out hydrogen for activation of biocatalyst in cell mass culture unit. 2. Biosynthesis the syngas output from pre-synthesis section is fed into a bioreactor. The biocatalyst in the bioreactor is kept in a stable, well-controlled environment through the control of gas flow rate, operating pressure, broth temperature, nutrient solution flow rate, ammonium bisulfate ABS feed rate, antifoam flow rate, and pH. The biocatalyst uses syngas to form ethanol. The biocatalyst is grown and cultured inside cell mass culture unit where required nutrients are provided in controlled environment. The biocatalysts are sent batchwise into biosynthesis reactor. The output of reactor is broth, which has around 1 to 4 percent of ethanol. The off gases are separated from the system, and 1 to 4 percent ethanol broth is further sent for processing. 3. Post synthesis, distillation, and dehydration. The broth with 1-4% to ETOH is sent to stripper column under vacuum where ethanol is stripped to concentration of around 70-80% to ETOH and through different distillation and dehydration processes, ethanol of purity of 99.6% is produced.